Hi guys, from past few videos, I am working on a tutorial of how to create an HTML and CSS gallery. And uh, in my last video, you saw how I created this uh, uh, one row for our gallery. If I click this, you can see it's displaying in a uh, displaying a light box. Okay, if you click this, it will display a light box. Okay, so I guess this uh, work is half done now. Now we have to uh, finish the rest of the things okay now let us go to our markup okay here you can see we have html markup here this is one row which is displaying here now we have to create a rest of the two rows just copy it come down and paste come down and paste it once again and now we have created rest of the two image here to rows and let us change the names of our images one two two three three Six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Okay, guys. Now let us come to our gallery. Refresh. I can see. All, uh, all the rows of our gallery has been created okay Let's see it is displaying the light box also and now I don't want this border to my gallery so let's come to styles and just remove it save it and now you don't have any border okay let me let me explain you from the very beginning okay we had started uh, with uh, adding our links to our pages css and and uh, js files and then we started uh, writing down our uh, html markup so guys these two this gap box and these classes are coming from our css and js files so you need to maintain the same classes while you are working uh, with this gallery okay and in this code this image you, uh, you will find out i have given uh, image paths twice and this path is represented by this image okay here yeah, this image uh, let me show you if i made any changes here to one of the image it won't display here that means this path this particular path refers to this image okay when i click i will get the same image because the light box image will be display will be uh, displayed by this path okay i hope you understand this and and then first we have created a row for our first three images then we copied the same row for the rest of the three rest of the two rows okay guys it is it's a very easy tutorial guys you can use it in your projects i hope you enjoy this video tutorial series guys if you like this video uh, tutorials uh, subscribe to my channel or share it with your friends or share it in social networks like facebook and twitter okay guys thanks for watching